Okay, um, I'm going to be doing a, uh, a review on a power supply tester. Power supply tester. It's really, it's actually a must-have device for every technician. Absolutely must-have. And what we're going to do today is that we're going to show how this is used and what each readout stands for. I'll have a link in the description of how to purchase one of these. This is definitely a must-have device. I'll show you why right now. Okay, so now we have, we're showing the display of the um, power supply tester, but we need to, we need to connect it. So I, I have an Ultra 1000 watt power supply here uh, as our test bench. And I'm going to connect this to the so you hear that beeping that's because I don't have this connected to it so I have to plug in I have to plug in a four pin or six pin or something else and make that stop barking at us. Okay, this power supply is is okay. It's, if you notice the PG, that means power good signal, is uh, 300 milliseconds. That's actually a little slow. So we're going to reset this and try this again. Okay, now we're going to start it back up again. Let's see if we can get that a little lower. Oh, 300. Yesterday it was 180. Well, actually, I'm sorry. Yesterday it was 280. So um, that would probably be the highest, you know, maybe between, I, I don't know, 500 millisecond would be the, the absolute. I think 300 is a little too slow. Uh, that's how PG stands for uh, power good, meaning how quick it takes for the power supply to maintain or turn on its voltages all, on all its rails. So it takes 300 milliseconds to do that. In other words, have good power on all the rails going out to the uh, computer. That's what that's for. That's what that means. So this lets us know that we have a 12 volt V1 is is 12 uh, 12 and a half volts. VT is also 12 and a half. Five volts is five volts. All this is good. This is actually this is a very good readout. I'm very happy with this. This well, it's also you also have to consider that it is a thousand watt power supply. So let's try this again. <laughs> Did you hear that noise? That was pretty cool. Three hundred millisecond. Let's try it with it already powered on, and I'm going to unplug it here and plug it back in again. Three ninety. Whoa. Two eighty. Okay, that's what I got yesterday when I was doing this, just testing it out. So that's fine. This power supply is fine. There's nothing wrong with it. So this is a must-have um, power supply tester that you have to you have to have because if you if you don't know if the power supply is good, you're having some major problems. The computer's freezing. You have random reboots and so on and so forth. And you need to know. You need to know that. You need to know why. Those things are happening. So by having this tester, lets you know that the power supply is either good or bad, and that the random reboots and the random um, freezing and all that kind of stuff is an indication that it could be a bad power supply. It also could mean that you have memory problems as well. But at least by having this, you can rule out, rule out the power supply as being the culprit. I'll have uh, the information in the uh, description be below on how to purchase this device. And have a good one. We'll see you next time.